We know it's been difficult to invest in the pharma or biotech stocks for over a year now. Thanks to the worries about Washington cracking down on drug pricing. But all this pressure on their stock prices hasn't changed how the industry works. These companies still need to spend money developing new compounds and then marketing them. And when you look at the metaphorical arms dealers in the life science space, some of them are performing pretty well. Take Viva Systems, a cloud-based software company that started off by making pharmaceutical sales reps more efficient. And now they've got a software platform for the whole life sciences industry, and it is growing like a weed. Viva's been on fire. This stock's up more than 40% for 2016, gained nearly 80% over the last 12 months. And you can understand why. The company's most recent quarter, reported a month ago, was terrific. Plus, at their analyst meeting just yesterday, Viva laid out an ambitious plan to get to $1 billion in sales by 2020. If that's really doable, then this stock might have a lot more room to run. So let's check in with Peter Gass. He's the founder and CEO of Viva Systems. Find out more about how his business is doing and where it's headed. Mr. Gaster, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Peter. Have a seat. Good to see you again. Peter, the, I, I love the analyst meeting. There's a moment where, and you guys are humble, so I, I, don't, mean, I don't mean to pull this out of nowhere, <laughs> but where someone asked you about the competition, and you basically said that most of the competition is from 2005. Now, what does that mean? The other guys just haven't gotten the memo? Well, I think, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're replacing legacy. And, you know, we were early to figure out this really industry-specific stuff. You could move it to the cloud. We got momentum. And, yeah, it surprises me, too. But that's what we're doing. We're still replacing this legacy. All right. Well, I was on Twitter saying who uses the product. And there was a, a consultant. And there was someone who sells pharmaceuticals. And they always they had the same answers, which is it's easy to use. So what does that mean versus what they were using? Well, really, they were using this legacy. You almost consider it green screen stuff, right? And you come up, Viva, let's take our Viva Vault product. Yeah, it yeah has this a, is the suit, new product since the, we've seen each other. Yeah, okay. Viva Vault. Yeah, when we, when we did our IPO, when I was on here on our IPO, right. it was at a, Vault was at a $10 million run rate. It's now, three years later, it's at a $150 million run rate. So it's really taken okay. off. Now, if you look at why it's taken off, you know, the interface to Vault is sort of like the interface to Google. Super right. fast surge, great reporting and dashboards. These people are really used to green screens. Their right. document might take 10 minutes to download, right? So it's just dramatically better. Uh, we're building a better mousetrap. Right. Now, uh, uh, unlike many other companies, your total addressable market for your product seems to go up. Now, most people, we say, okay, the total addressable market is fixed at. Why does yours go up so much? Well, we're relatively conservative in the way we right. talk That's about true. it. We look at the products, the areas we address, and then we just expand. We address new areas, we address new areas, we address new areas. So we just increased by $1 billion this year mm -hmm. in terms of the addressable market. And that's because of new products. We're able to develop them pretty fast because of our Vault platform. It okay. lets us develop applications much more quick, <clears throat> excuse me, much more quickly than we used to because the platform's getting really robust. All right, now we're familiar with a lot of your customers. Look, you have pretty much, the most interesting was that you pretty much everybody. I mean, I, and, I, and one of the reasons why I was concerned was I said, is there anybody still to get? I mean, the number of reps that are on, I mean, the number of, it's almost pretty much a, the who's who of everybody we've ever had. Are there still more guys that need you? Yeah, there are. Really, we expand in this way. So it's true. If you look at the major life sciences companies out there, they got Viva in, of one of our products in some place right. or another. Right. But what we do is we expand to more divisions, more countries, more products. So we're really underpenetrated. Although almost every cust almost every company is a customer, right. they don't have nearly all our well, full those. suite of products. Okay, now we, a company we used to have one all the time, but we kind of lost track of metadata. Uh, clinical trial management system, CTMS, one of the new product rollouts will directly compete with metadata. Now, metadata is not 2005 technology. That's going to be a little more difficult, isn't it? Metadata, sure, is a good competitor. And right. we have a new product, CTMS, and that competes with metadata. Um, you know, and the market needs competition. Okay. For our approach, what will be a little different is we're going after a unified suite of products. And I think that will... What, what does that mean? That's... Meaning we have a CTMS, clinical trial master... Right clinical trial management system, but we also have the electronic trial master file. Mm -hmm. So we not only have the management of it, but we have the repository of it. 
Okay. So that that's kind of people are sometimes looking for that unified well, suite. Let me give you the last question. Uh, the total dress market is really big, but uh, in uh, Neil Bushby, and you guys all know everybody. Everybody knows everybody out there. He's uh, down the street in Pleasanton. I, that's from what us. I know. So I, cause <laughs> work day, I saw it at the same address. Yeah. Now they were they are dominant in one form, human capital management. Then one day they say, "Listen, we'll do financial." I mean, your stuff sounds so good. One day do you do something else besides, or is this just this is where you are and you want to dominate in your silo? Well, the really and I call that the second act, right? Financials is really the right. second act yeah. of Workday. The interesting thing about Viva, our first act was CRM. Our second act is Vault. So we know how to do, once you know how to do second acts, okay. you probably try to do a third. All right, well, look, I'm <laughs> glad your stocks had the run. We, you know, we've been back in. There was like guys saying, oh, it's not so good. The, traje the trajectory here is on. It's really on course. I bet you get to that billionaire before you say these. <laughs> All right, that's Peter Gaster, the founder and CEO of Viva Systems. They own this market, guys. It's expensive, but it should be. Mad Money's back in. Right. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.